welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the gemini sun moon and rising sign this is the fourth and last week of the month of september i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration okay you gemini so let's see what is happening what is transpiring for the gemini's in this week i want to say okay your secrets are going to be coming out, Gemini's, whatever um, secrets you have. It's uh, definitely, definitely going to be coming out. You see the card flicks out. So um, that means the energy of the moon and it is the energy of this week. So whatever is transpiring for you, um, um, Gemini's, secrets are going to be coming out. And uh, um, whatever the issue is and the situation is, it is all coming out in this week for you, Gemini. So let's see what else is happening. The Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse for you, Gemini's. Um, then we have um, this new start um, that you're looking for. We have no more worries. Whatever the deceptiveness that was plain is over with the Princess of uh, um a fist um a pisces cancer or a scorpion her secrets is uh, coming out uh, we see the energy of the, this uh, lady this is uh, the energy of an aries leo or a sagittarius so obviously some of you gemini could be in a relationship with a pisces cancer or a scorpion um here is this person and their per their secrets is coming out whatever has transpired their secret is going to be coming out so whoever this person is uh, we have you um, dealing with the king of pentacles and the wheel of fortune whatever that was and um, a new start with the king of pentacles is not going to be happening for you gemini so whatever that was happening or whatever uh, this transformation that was happening um it is the week of the moon and the week of the moon is always intuition and secrets so some of you gemini are going to be finding out that if you're in a relationship with a pisces cancer or a scorpion her secret is going to be coming out uh, and uh, the, 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 you're going to be finding out that this young lady has been working with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. It is an older man and it is something from a past lifetime. If you were in a relationship with this person, whatever is transpiring is that there is no new start because this lady, this lady is going to be standing up against whatever is transpiring and it could be a Leo or it could be a Sagittarius. Okay, it could be a Leo or it could be a Sagittarius. So uh, let's uh, move forward and we are going to be um, really seeing what is transpiring because the energy of the moon is in this week and that is the energy and whatever the energy of the moon comes up your intuition you gotta listen to your intuition okay whatever deceptiveness that was going on whatever crazy thing that was going on around you gemini's is going to be coming out and it has to do with a pisces cancer or a scorpion because her secrets is going to be coming out and you're going to be aware that she was connected that to an older taurus virgo or capricorn now some of you are dealing with an Aries and an Aries is going to be telling you something. Okay. An Aries is definitely going to be telling you something. Whatever is transpiring is that whatever this new start is, an Aries has to, something to do with um, this, this older man. So these three are cahootsing in uh, something. Okay. The wheel of fortune is that this is a karmatic situation that you're dealing with a young uh, Pi um, Pisces or cancer person. So let's see what is coming out for the wheel of fortune for the Gemini in the last week of September. Um, what is coming out? Let's see what is coming out for the Wheel of Fortune. So, some of you were expecting to get some money, um, and uh, um, you are going to be uh, receiving some money. So, um, uh, whatever has transpired because the Wheel of Fortune is in regrets, and I'm seeing you paying out some money. So, you and your partner could be paying out uh, some money however this is playing out for you you have to see what has transpired because i'm seeing um you too um and you know it could be a house that you're buying um but whatever is coming up i'm seeing that you have to pay out some money the um the two of cups some of you were starting a new relationship 
um and it has to do with the older pisces cancer or scorpion i think this lady is going to be saying to you you know um whatever is going on because this person is coming up as someone who really cares about you and someone who really likes you um it could be a mother and a child um it could be your mom that is saying to you um you know maybe it's not a good um thing to to have a new start with this young person who is a pisces cancer or scorpion so this is a situation where there was some cruelty that has been done to you gemini's and it has to do with this pisces cancer or scorpion i'm seeing an investigation is coming in in whatever that this older lady has done and it has to do with money that ne you need to pay out so for, for some of you i'm hoping and i'm receiving that some of you could be buying a house and that sort of a thing but this lady is um could be coming up as a mother figure that is saying not to buy the house with the spices cancer or scorpion so heartbreaks is coming out and the worries is going to be over but you're definitely going to be receiving some information there could have been um you're definitely going to be receiving some information um it could be about the spicy cancer or scorpion this person is someone who is connected to some of you okay now your burdens is going to be over with this with this young person whoever this young person is definitely your burden is going to be over with this person and you're going to be fine some rest okay so some of you were dealing with a pisces cancer or scorpion um this person has created some burdens for you this burden is, is going to be over and you are going to be coming out of this legal issue um that you have gotten yourself in with this person because whoever this person is whatever they have done you can see this happening and transpiring the seven of wands is here and you're definitely dealing um with um standing your grounds okay and it's as if uh, um some of you are dealing with um this leo person and you need to stand your grounds with this leo person whoever this leo person is that is coming up in some of your lives you need to stand your grounds uh, um with this leo is definitely a leo that some of you are dealing with uh, where you need to stand your grounds whoever this person is it could be the mother of this child and you need to stand your grounds and let you know because you're going to be receiving some information because um, some of you Gemini's were being used in a situation and it's as if um, some of you are receiving message from this Leo person that you need to help this person and you're like no um, because of what has happened and what has transpired okay so here um some of you could be buying a house i'm getting this that some of you could be buying a house okay because this is the wheel of fortune you're paying out a lot of money and it's as if some of you are buying a house so um if you are looking for a house and you're going to be closing off on the house this could be coming in at work some of you could be dealing with um a pisces cancer or a scorpion person and you're seeing the truth about your per this person and your boss and it has to do with um uh, something that is going to be coming out some information that is going to be coming out about work and you're dealing with a, a taurus Virgo or a capricorn man some news is going to be coming in um definitely some unexpected news is going to be coming in for you younger men and uh, it is unexpected news of a new start so there is a double whammy here and it's actually very good number one a new start the energy of one is always uh, so very positive because whatever the energy of one comes up it is going to be a new start and uh, however way this new start is coming up it's going to be affecting you guys because you can see this energy coming in where this new start is coming up um sometimes whenever these uh, situation comes up what is happening is that uh, you're going to be finding out something whatever you are going to be finding out it has to do with your partner and uh, because it's um your partner um, you're going to be trying to figure out how to resolve an issue. Definitely some of you could be um, really um, paying for a house, buying down on a house. Money is going to be coming to you. Um, some of you could be receiving help. Some of you are going to be receiving 
um, love from um, an older woman this is a very nurturing woman this is uh, someone who is going to be giving you some positive advice I'm seeing you receiving some news um, the news is that um, your worries is over but there is some heartbreaks that some of you are dealing with with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is your burden is going to be over because whatever the, there's a legal issue that is against this person now the mother is an Aries Leo a Taurus or an a Leo is coming up and this is that uh, this person wants you to be there for this person but it is it, 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 it is like yeah I wasn't aware what was going on so some unexpected news is going to come out for you Gemini's where you're going to be getting out of a situation that a Leo and a Pisces or a Pisces cancer or a scorpion has gotten you in and it, it, you're definitely going to be coming out. I'm seeing some of um, you Leos um, are going to be realizing and finding out secrets where um, this person have affect this person. Okay, so it's um, this person could be a friend or a family or someone on the work floor. They could be telling you something about this person, or you are going to be finding out because you're going to be receiving news from this um, older Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. This is a really psychic person, and she is going to be telling you some news. But uh, but whatever the news is that she's she's telling you it's going to be releasing you from your burdens a lot of you could be reaching out to psychic or um a lot of you could be connecting with a taurus virgo or a capricorn person but whoever this person is she's very psychic she sees what is going on around her and she's going to be telling you about this young pisces cancer scorpion that this person is having some legal issues because of something that they have done now this person have a connection whether or not this person uh, mother is a leo or a, it, it's coming up as a leo so some of you are definitely i need to stand your ground with a leo now on the work floor some of you are going to be finding out something about uh, um, your boss this is the energy of the work floor where some of you are going to be finding out something about your boss okay you young men are going to be having a new start because this woman is going to be um, helping you out however this woman is going to be coming up and helping you out this woman is someone who you have known from past lifetime um, this woman um, it's definitely a psychic she's coming up as a psychic so it could be a Capricorn or a Virgo but whoever she is or a Taurus but whoever she is she's going to be giving you some news and this news could be about your partner or your child because there's a lot of children that is coming up in this week okay some of you are really going to be finding out something about uh, um, your partner your relationship um, some of you could be divorcing and need to pay out some money okay and I'm seeing that someone who is very loving is saying to you hey no don't do that because uh, you know this person uh, was not because this person if you're divorcing a Pisces cancer or a scorpion I'm seeing that this lady is saying hey no um, they want you to pay out some money but you don't have to pay this person any money but the mother is here standing up so be aware of what is going on be aware ladies and gentlemen of what is going on around you in the suite because trust me I am seeing that some of you are really going to be having an issue but I'm seeing loving people coming out and uh, protecting you in this week there is a lot of loving people coming out and protecting you in this week especially some of you I whoever this lady is is a Leo you have to stand your ground with this lady whoever this lady is is a Leo you have to stand your ground with this lady some of you young men could be having a new start um some of you there's a double energy number one l11 and one is going to be affecting you guys where 11 is the energy of a portal being open situation issues are coming out movement move forward fiercely whatever is happening you gemini's just move for, forward fiercely because whatever the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, by you deciding to move forward fiercely, this is going to be opening up doors of opportunities because you are going to be realizing that I'm not making anything stopping me in my life. 
I'm going to be um, taking the positive um, way and I'm going to be moving um, forward fiercely. Whatever the issue is in the situation, just get out of this situation, okay? You're being made, um, you're making a big breakthrough in your life by putting your divine and your soul inspiration into action, okay? So some of you are really listening to yourself and making that big move. Trust that you are guided each step of the way. So whatever that move you're deciding to do, whether to buy a house, whether to enter a relationship, um, whether to realize something that was going on, this is going to be good. And this is a motto for you guys to say, I move forward fearlessly, trusting that each step I take is perfectly a guy, uh, um, aligned and guided in the right direction. And this is going to be good. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, please go check out the moon reading to see what is coming out, how the moon reading, who, how the moon is going to be affecting you guys in this week. Please go and check that out because it's going to be very important. I want to say to each and every one of you, thank you so much. Um, please like and share these videos. And I'm saying namaste until next week.